I'm just in the process of changing the way I do it. So these are my spars that I cut today, a little bundle of them. And I have, these are my the ones that work out really well. There's also a handful that are not quite as nice and they may be usable, but they need more attention. These are pretty much ready to go. So here you have two spars laying on the paper um, that will form our, my new leading and trailing edge or spars as you call them in free flight. Uh, my previous carbon stabs had leading and trailing edges that were exactly uh, circular. So they were basically cut with a full-size Dremel and the full-size Dremel was attached to an arm that it could describe an arc. So it was just a plain arc. It worked quite well, but I wanted a different shape. So in the full-size Dremel you, you can use these 19 millimeter abrasive blades uh, wheels and they work very very well as long as you keep them clean from glue or gum you, you don't want any rubberized material to find its way on here contact cement it, it will all gum it up that's not a, a good thing so keep them clean with acetone or replace them so my new design i decided to make a drawing and then a template and with this template um i have a dolly that describes the shape of the template or follows along. Um, the template was built as such that there's two layers of MDF, they're quarter inch or six or seven millimeters, and the top one describes the exact shape of my arc, of my, no not the arc, uh, exact shape of my uh, spar. The bottom one has the function to keep the blade of the dolly. No, I should redo this. The top one describes the exact shape of my trailing and leading edge spar. The bottom one is the guide for this wheel and it functions to keep the cutting wheel exactly perpendicular to wherever it is at the, at the shape or the curve, if you want to call it the curve, the shape of my template. This seems to work well. It is just a little bit of work to find this curve. Then this is just a filler block with balsa wood on which I lay the laminate. The laminate has been, has been cut up. Now it's been consumed, but you can see there's a little black line left with carbon. And this is just a nice straight piece of wood with some notches to keep it where it wants to, keep it where it needs to be. And then you just, with some CA glue, you just stitch it, attach it, and then these micrometers give you your cut width. So that works all quite nicely. I'll just put this on the table and give you a look. So, this is an engraving tool that you can have for about $20, $30. Um, USB chargeable. If you need more power, then all you can do with this thing is just keep it plugged in to your charge port. And that gives you just a tiny little bit more oomph. Um, when I cut along here, I pull, I do not push. I find there's easier control to pull on it. I weigh down with weights along to make sure it stays where it's supposed to be. And I just very slowly, in another video I'll show this, uh, how, I, how it comes along. All right, my name is Arndt, and I'm going to show you how to cut my outline with this engraving tool. I keep the tool plugged in, and it gives you just a little bit more power 
on the motor. Um, probably isn't necessary, but I feel better about it. So this piece of Teflon feeds underneath the outline and acts as a guide. There we go. Engage my front, my this uh, bottom wheel, and then aim for. There we go. There you go. There you have it. Another outline.